Hello, and welcome to the 2001 Audi TT, and you're watching Nick's Car Blog. Introduced in 1995 at the Frankfurt Motor Show, the Audi TT is one of the few cars to change relatively little between the concept and the production, which started in 1998. The Audi TT was also only available in manual up until 2003, at which point they began to start offering a dual-clutch DSG. With a sticker price of $36,100, the Audi TT became the North American Car of the Year for 2000 and was on Car & Driver's Top 10 list for 2000 and 2001. However, it wasn't all sunshine and lollipops. Early TT models were plagued with accidents. As drivers hit speeds over 180 kilometers an hour, the vehicle would become unstable and crash. Because of this, in early 2000, Audi recalled their TTs and had this spoiler installed to ensure the safety of its passengers. They also modified the suspension and added some software upgrades to help keep the car stable at high speed. North American Mark 1 TTs were equipped with either a 180 horsepower motor or, if you had one like this, a 225 horsepower 1.8 liter turbo. This engine, along with the chassis, was shared amongst other Volkswagen Audi Group models like the original A3 and the Golf. Speaking of engines, let's talk about modifications. This vehicle is equipped with an aftermarket intake, an aftermarket exhaust, and a tune that changes the horsepower from 225 to 250. That, paired with the all-wheel drive system, makes this vehicle a formidable track weapon. Moving on to the interior of the Audi TT, as you can see it is lavishly equipped with leathers, soft touch materials, and the same circle theme from the outside. The vents here, all these buttons, there's some things on the door, even the shift knob and surrounding casing is the same circular pattern that you find throughout this vehicle. Let's talk about a few more interior items. This car is equipped with a manual parking brake, which is a nice feature today, but was very common back in 2001. The steering wheel is very simple, yet very elegant, and it continues the same circle theme from the rest of the vehicle. The gauge cluster is excellent, simple dials, everything is easy to read, and there's a simple digital display in the center to give you all the information that you could ever want out of this vehicle. Now let's talk about my favorite five fun features, starting with the heated seats. The heated seats are fantastic. You pop out the button, you twirl it around, it's a lot of fun. Next fun feature, ooh, the climate vents. Do you want more air? Turn the vent. Do you want less air? Turn the vent. That's pretty fun. Now let's come back here and talk about these cup holders. Are they in the center console? Are they not in the center console? I don't know. There is no center console, so that one's on you. Now let's talk about these back seats. So small, you couldn't fit a baby back there if you tried. Come on, Audi. And now, my favorite fun feature, this little parcel shelf down here. What's it useful for? Nothing. That makes it great. You put your stuff down there, you're like, oh yeah, storage spot, no problem. Your driver floors it, all the stuff is in your face. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is trunk time. Yep, I'm gonna climb in this trunk. Okay. All right, let's get this thing on the road and see how it goes. One thing I will say, 
this driving position is fantastic. It's quite a low car, so I was worried about visibility, but due to the small size, you can see fairly well out of every window. Nothing's really an issue there. You do feel all the bumps. It's got some custom suspension work, so uh, the bumps are a little, a little rough at times, but that gives it better handling. So hey, you can't complain about that. Let's get beans. Oh yeah, it sounds phenomenal. Just the sound is fantastic. You get that nice blow-off valve, all the turbo sounds, all the engine sounds. No problems there. The steering weight is fantastic. It's nice and heavy, you know, like you'd expect from a sports car. It's communicative. I feel everything that I need to through the wheels that comes through the steering wheel. There's a lot of travel on the clutch. It more so than cars I've driven in the past. Uh, you really have to throw the clutch down before any movement of the gear lever. Listen to that sound. Ho, ho, ho. That is phenomenal. I'm sitting at a stoplight here, just taking a look around the cabin. It's pretty dark. It's pretty low. I, like, I, I don't have a lot of headroom going on. There's a lot of, it's a low roof. But it's a nice interior. It's a nice space to be in, especially for 2001, you know? This is a time where there are a lot of hard plastics being used. If you haven't already, like our Facebook page, like the YouTube video, please comment, subscribe, you know, all the good stuff. Oh, I can't get over the sound though. It sounds fantastic. It's so good. Ooh -ee -ooh. This has been the 2001 Audi TT, and you're watching Nick's Car Blog. See you next time. Alright, just stepped out of the TT. As you can see, it's right behind me. And I'm walking back into the driveway. But every time, you know, yeah, I gotta pass this. Disappointing. Terrible. We know what cars. <laughs>